heaven or hell, but so is cinema. Toy Story is one of the most beloved family franchises of all time. The first was a masterpiece, the second even better. The third, while depressing in some aspects, is still a work of art. But then, a black sheep hovered over the franchise, the fourth one. Only made for money and to shove a political agenda down our throats. Serving the SJW community, Toy Story 4 completely bashes on everything that the franchise stood for. That is not the only problem. Toy Story 4 destroys all of the characters, starting with Buzz Lightyear. Going from a strong leader, caring about his friends, to a Jar Jar Binks within five minutes. Buzz Lightyear tries to find his inner voice. Where was this in Toy Story, Toy Story 2, or even Toy Story 3? Nowhere to be found. Probably only shoved in this film to make a new action figure. But this is not the only problem with Toy Story 4. Woody goes from a caring toy to a complete jerk who goes after an SJW toy who he hasn't seen in years. Bo Peep goes from a damsel in distress in Toy Story 1 and 2 to a complete overpowered SJW character in this film. Yes, sure, she's rough around the edges, but it's never explained quite where she was. Sure, she came from the shop, but how did she truly get damaged? Yes, there is a new special coming on Disney Plus about little old Bo Peep, but this should have been in the film. Bo doesn't have any faults. She takes care of herself. Heck, even her voice is different from Toy Story 1 and 2. It gets even worse. In flashback of Toy Story 2, Bo Peep is now up in arms helping Woody rescue R.C. But this completely retcons her arc in Toy Story 1 and 2. Bo Peep was a damsel in distress, never helping the group. But now she's tough? Granted, yes. Bobby could have helped Bo Peep become a tougher woman, but still, it's not properly developed, and it gets even worse. Bo Peep was the voice of reason within Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2, but now she's wanting to leave Andy. Why? Because Andy is a man, of course, and she doesn't need a man telling her what to do. But in the first two films, she always told Woody that Andy would always love him. Well, screw that. She gets in the box and actually almost convinces Woody to leave with her, completely going against Woody's arc in Toy Story 2. Woody goes through a familiar struggle, just like in the second film, but at the end of part two, he realizes that there's nothing else to live for but just to make Andy happy. He accepts this, and he moves on with it, but now it retcons everything he went through in Toy Story 2, and he nearly leaves his entire family for this woman, this SJW.
Are you seeing what I'm saying? Toy Story 4 is an absolute disaster. Bonnie lied to Andy at the end of Toy Story 3, telling him that she would take care of Woody and the gang, and now they're all inside of a closet. But it gets even worse. Woody carelessly helps a villainous toy that wants a voice box. He has no idea where this toy has come from, but agrees to help her nevertheless. But this is preposterous. Lotso was a careless bear that always put on an act in Toy Story 3. Woody knows this, but doesn't even give a hoot. He could be giving a supervillain a weapon, but again, doesn't care. The ending is by far the worst part of the film. People working on the movie promised that this would be an emotional ending, that people would cry and sigh and just cry some more. But that's not the case. You cry tears of anger. Woody leaves his entire family for this SJW character that he hasn't seen in years. Woody abandons his flock to live as a homeless toy on the road. This completely retcons everything that the Toy Story franchise has stood for. You are not supposed to be a broken toy, a homeless toy, but screw that. Our favorite cowboy, ladies and gentlemen, is now out on the road. With this stupid SJW feminist, Bo Peep. All in all, Toy Story 4 is a disappointing sequel and is so atrocious. It completely destroys everything that the franchise stood for and is a mindless cash grab for the lowest denominator. Even the comedy is so bad. Think about the comedy in Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 versus this film. It's a depressing, drab, and careless story just for an extra buck and the social justice warriors. Toy Story 4 should be avoided at all costs. Thank you for watching. Stay hungry for more films and goodbye.